29 for the 254 day challenge the verse of the day is John 15 verse 13 love what have I been desiring love and they say it's better to give than receive and I've definitely been given. So it's time for me to receive. <laughs> anyway, it's just um with that scripture, with that scripture, greater love have no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. I don't know about you, but reading that scripture resonated well with me because one thing for certain I value friendship. So much that I've let go of friends because of ways in which we've moved. Um, let me just give you an example. So you know how you be in your little clique or your little circle and you might crack jokes and talk about people. I know we all do that or have done that. I've gotten away from that because it's not good to be gossiping and talking about somebody. You know, if you can, you know, take them and lift them up, help them out. You know, if something may be wrong, you know, in a cool little way, offer advice. Like, you know, if my, my breath stink, you know, pass me a stick of gum, you know, opposed to... You know, <laughs> with me and her breath is like, you know, that's just so not cool. Just so not cool. So, yeah, I've let some people go on that. And just ironically, it's like I have had issues with family members because they feel as if I treat or have treated my friends with more love you know than giving them and not understanding you know oftentimes you get what you give you know and the way you 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 know what you're going to receive I'm, I mean I'm working on to be unconditional love you know I really am I'm trying to be have that agape love uh, but it's just certain things or in my past like to call me on my name talk down to me and file to me and then to reach to hug me no I'm not gonna let you do that so no um, energy spirits I'm finding all is real then if you've been following the videos I have trust issues. Trust issues. Mm -mm. I don't do well with people and how they handle me with their mouth and then want to probably try to put their hand, hands on me as if they love me, hugging me. No. After you done called me all kind of ungodly names. Mm -mm. Especially in that's not my character and how I walk in or have ever walked in. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. So I say that to say, I was talking, actually, I was talking to a friend yesterday, a couple of friends. Shouts out to my big brother, Mr. Darren, if you remember the blue too from this scene if you're familiar with Detroit and you used to run home at 6 o'clock to watch channel 62 then you're familiar with um, 
one of the blue two brothers you know how the gear they used to dress like the blues brothers and do they little you know sometimes they wear that gear and sometimes they come out in they little leather gear they've been down to the broadway but anyway yeah we was talking yesterday about um siblings and the character the type of person i am the standards my morals and values and you know me i'm you know well not i but the lord you know has put in me as i um am in tune with the spirit and get convicted and understand when i'm being convicted and what's right and what's wrong you know um, but we talked about that and the love that I have and if the love that I have, if you, you know, the way that I love on my friends, all my friends is like from childhood are still my friends and we can have talks with them. I mean, um, I, I don't know if it's appropriate to drop names cause my, my, my God sister told me I be dropping names when I talk. So if I do that. I apologize. I'm working on what's what's appropriate and what's not. Um, but I say this to say, if I'm loving on my friends, just imagine, you know, the love that I want between my flesh and blood siblings. You know, I yearn. I've been yearning for years and it's just ironic what everything was going through because I broke down at my cousin's funeral. I think I probably was more emotional than anybody. You know, some people was looking at me like my cousin, she's so strong. I just love her. She used to, I used to be so mad at her when we was kids. Cause it's like, she used to be like, I thought she was like, at me, at me, at me. It was really, she was concerned and trying to you know be the big role model that she was supposed to be and it shows you know now that i'm older i can look back and reflect and i appreciate her um and that's my big cousin i am gonna drop that name my big cousin deborah um because she used to irritate the whew, out of me when i was a kid but now as i reflect back i'm like she served her role well as an adult or not so much older than me but being older than me and being responsible you know and knowing what's right and what's wrong um but yeah i i i was a mess you know crying and i was just upset that you know um it seems like family don't come together no more these days without it being a funeral that we're attending and it's then got so bad that even that has got to be uh where people are opting out to not even come to a funeral you know for whatever baggage claims can't put the differences down for the moment you know, so it's just, um, I'm going to continue on uh, and working on with me and um, prayerful, prayerfully uh, the changes in me can prompt changes in others. as like we started in the beginning with um, uh, day one. working on me and fixing me and hopefully those seeing you know how God has worked in my life as the Lord has you know done for me then um, they're crossover and want to follow and get in on that everybody claims that they read the word and be in the word but are you taking the time to like really meditate on it and get the understanding and how that relates to you and how the Lord might be speaking, you know, through those words for you in your life at that particular, you know, moment in time. Um, you know, uh, 
are you taking a moment to like you know stop and like really listen like let it fill you up um they say faith comes by hearing so i i i find it also good to like now when i'm you know doing my meditation on and reading my scripture to actually read it out loud like over and over and over, and over again and it's like it just be pouring into me but anyway um greater love have no man than this you know um love laying down your life for a friend lay down his life for his friends so I have no problem with that I love love I just love just the, the feeling the how what love brings to the environment you know um, one aha moment that I had today in my meditation and going through the sermon praise prayer and worship was the getting to the the rootness or the deepness per words like no greater love and it was like an aha moment in the, the greater it's like greater where I was like you can't make a difference in love you know, but apparently so. If there's a greater, then there has to be a lesser. But that took me to loving those who love me. Um, where I've, I've tried for so many years and I know like in the Bible it was somewhere we say being def a defense seven, 77 times seven I think something like that it's been way more than the 77 so I guess it's time for me to go ahead and let go but um, I'm here love whoever loves me and still working on the agape love and understanding that in some instances um, love has to be loved from a distance and I'm gonna go with that serenity prayer um, God give me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This I pray. This I pray. Today's songs. The first three, I actually did four today because when the fourth one came on, I was so in the spirit, I couldn't let it go. But the first song was Soul Will Sing, Travis Green. Soul Will Sing, Travis Green. And the second song was I Need Your Glory, Ernest Pugh. And the third song, we was back to T.D. Jakes, his track seven. Yes, 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 yes. The Threshing, the Threshing Floor Revival. And I say, here's my attempt on being more effective. It's all it's about me being more effective and getting done what I say I'm going to get done. 
If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I am blessed and highly favored. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the burn. Riches and wealth are in my home. Mercies and goodness follows me all the days of my life. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me shall be condemned by the Lord. I am Fly444. It's first love you because you got the angels all around you to do you. Speak life over you. Speak life over your children. Speak life over your home. Speak life over your finances. Think life. Whatever you think, whatever you speak, whatever you think, that's who you are. Whatever you speak, it's who you become. I am Fly444. I am on my 254 day journey. Today is day 29. You can check in the description for my website where you can go and learn more about who I am and what I do. I got started on this journey after the death of my beloved mother, whom we had an exchange relationship due to me and my failure to communicate and also her failure to communicate. So I'm left now where um, there's some sibling rivalry going on because of um, Ace. And what Ace is is adverse childhood experiences. Traumas that's in need of healing. And I started on that journey long ago, but have been stagnant for the past decade, sitting because of a book and wanting to release to tell my story so that I can go further in the work in which I do. It came a time in 2021 where I hired a coach through the Tony Gaskins mentoring program in which I am also a coach for dysfunctional families, uh, networking, um, entrepreneurship, self-care. Um, my, my main goal is discovering yourself through travels and becoming self-sufficient also through travels. And in doing this, in the fourth year, we experienced COVID-19. And when that happened, I began to lose partners and having to um, uh, re refund or cancel bookings. So I began to lose out on commissions. And so, therefore, losing the income, I had to find a way to replace income. And so, in doing that, it was like the next goal in looking at, you know, what I wanted to do, you know, um, was the design of shoes. And so, it became available. Uh, through a program, I opted in and was able to get the first shoe that I designed to production. And now I am currently with six pair under my belt. So I can officially say that I have a shoe line. You can Google Fly444. Um, different things will come up about me, which will be related to travel. I do all things travel. I can book all inclusive vacation for anything regarding travel. If you wanted to 
rent a plane. You know, you know, you rent a car, you can also rent a plane. You know, I can do that for you. Anything regarding travel. You know, you get married, you want a bridal party, get away, a honeymoon, get away, you know, wedding, away wedding, whatever. Anything travel. Um, you know, when you do travel, if you want to go to them little bookings and book yourself, you know, do that. But remember, there are risks, higher risks than if you had a travel agent doing it for you. I could save you a whole lot of time and in a lot of cases, money. You know, um, the worry, all you got to do is pack, go and enjoy yourself and I'll handle all the rest. Um, and now I have shoes in which I design it started out for me certain items clothing that I have it's like I have to have that perfect shoe and so I'll design the shoes to match what it is that I'm wearing and I can also do that for you or just generally you check out my shoes you know support my shoe project I'm trying to get it in a motion to where um, proceeds, some of my proceeds are going to a specific nonprofit organization. I would like it to have been strengthening, Metro, strengthening families Metro Detroit, but um, it's a little slow in getting that rolling. But it has to do with something with child abuse and neglect, child um, sexual abuse, domestic violence, the prevention of human trafficking, uh, prisoner reentry. Those are the areas and mental health it's like my focus is health education safety and growth for a community a system of care um where we're we're uplifting and building one another like a movement on you know i don't want to put a racial thing on there but like the black wall street you know but um and where we we have access to all type of resources that will be able to um, function and providing for any need that may arise for our communities. So I'm going to get off of here. It's been quite a minute and I did say I wasn't going to go over. I don't want to take up too much of your time for the day. I do appreciate you for giving me a moment of your time for the day. So I'm going to get off and let you continue on with your day. I thank you. I appreciate you. If you did not like, please do. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if it's not too much for a third thing, you can also share. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Shouts out to all those who have served and given their life for our freedoms. Much love.